Hello everyone, my name is Laszlo Krajnikowski and today I would like to share some ideas about extending the model of Emacs to other applications. A brief introduction of myself, I am from Budapest, Hungary and uh, I have a background in financial economics but by occupation I uh, run a software development company where I mostly do product management and I try to do most of my work from Emacs and I've been using it for the past two or three years as a computer science hobby and this fascinating piece of software taught me uh, a lot of different concepts uh, about the software architecture and uh, programming languages and also raised a lot of uh, philosophical questions about the human computer interaction. I've been mostly using it for organizing my personal information, writing notes and uh, tracking my agenda but occasionally I've also used it for reading and writing code and for also reading news, email and browsing the web. And what do I mean by the model of Emacs? Uh, for me the model of Emacs is about the interaction model and uh, it's not Emacs is just a tool for interacting with the computer it's sort of a universal interface that allows for consistency across different apps because uh, everything is brought down to a Emacs buffer which is a text oriented interface but that can have consistent key binding scheme where they have consistent color scheme and consistent workflow in general and also Emacs has a lot of functionality and uh, utilizes mnemonic key bindings for calling functions which is much more powerful than navigating contextual menus with a pointer uh, because uh, the functions that are repeated the most are then ingrained into the muscle memory and therefore reducing the lag between the thought that is occurring in your mind and its reflection on your computer screen. And also Emacs provides a huge number of packages that can all be inspected and modified and extended and recombined and uh, just provides a best possible malleable system experience that can potentially lead to uh, almost any desired setup for the end user. So Emacs is great but I need to use a lot of uh, different other tools to collaborate with my coworkers, with my clients and vendors and on a normal day I would need to be switching between uh, five to six different web applications and chat applications and uh, they all have a uh, same flaws they they all lack customizability because it was never intended by the original developers of the app that the end user can tinker with their with, with the product they're creating but uh, also those uh, apps are cloud-based and uh, usually not very good for privacy and this also creates limitations for uh, offline based workflows or for in general not relying on the internet connection to use something and uh, all these applications they create a situation when there's a lot of context switching between different apps and this context switching comes from different color schemes, different different workflows in, in general for different apps so there is always this little uh, frame of time where you, you need to kind of like orient yourself in this other application and of course after the time it, it gets more automated but still this context switching is very uh, bad for the productivity and these apps don't support very well the keyboard driven workflows because the default set of key bindings is always limited and uh, you, you, you always need to resort to mouse driven workflows but Emacs has some issues as a tool for work as well and first of all it uh, lacks the integration with all these tools so uh, I'll, I constantly need to be switching between Emacs and uh, these applications basically my web browser and 
and uh, Emacs is uh, very good for text input and for editing text, but it's not it's not always perfect for uh, reading information from an Emacs buffer because it doesn't render images in uh, HTML properly. And uh, also Emacs lacks performance under heavy load, so when you try to run too many things in parallel, the single threaded uh, nature of Emacs just uh, makes it hang and for this reason I wouldn't I wouldn't rely on Emacs to take care of uh, all my system processes and uh, of course it has some uh, legacy UI limitation being a uh, software that is written uh, over the 40 years ago so this uh, results in a very limited usability on mobile and other touch devices. So I've been thinking uh, about a hybrid approach that you could still use Emacs as a core of your uh, life <laughs> and then <laughs> extend it with uh, adjacent web applications and uh, where Emacs can be used as a sort of text processing backend and use uh, org mode files as a universal format for converting textual data and then if Emacs can be connected uh, with uh, those applications that I mentioned a couple of slides before uh, through their API and you can have a two-way communication between them and just uh, export in JSON let's say and then convert to org mode and then use the org mode for uh, this uh, local web app then you can use Emacs for uh, editing in org mode but then uh, you can use this adjacent web application for viewing information, making small edits, and, uh, and in general, possibly have an enhanced user-defined uh, uh, UI that uh, is directly connected to Emacs. And uh, Emacs Application Framework is a project that tries to achieve a common goal. Uh, it tries to achieve that through displaying everything in the Emacs buffer. Well, whereas I'm thinking if uh, it can be displayed in any web browser but uh, utilize Emacs application uh, framework API as a bridge between Elisp and uh, Python and JavaScript so you can use the modern front-end uh, frameworks to create those web interfaces easier and connect them with uh, Emacs functionality. So these uh, user-controlled web apps would uh, basically result uh, in a user connecting to this external uh, cloud-based uh, tool, let's say Asana, but then uh, uh, process everything through org mode and then display uh, in an org mode file or display it in this uh, enhanced uh, way uh, through the adjacent local web app uh, a front end for which could be used could be written in any JS framework for front end development so yeah and I encourage uh, everyone in the community who is interested in the similar uh, questions to uh, share their opinion about the potential risks and drawbacks uh, about uh, any other ways to achieve a similar goal if anyone else is doing this already that I might not know about and uh, in general just share ideas about what else can be done to integrate Emacs with uh, more stuff and uh, how Emacs can be become more uh, approachable by non-technical users because uh, I would love to see more people using Emacs to be honest yeah thank you very much for listening to this talk I will be uh, taking questions uh, and feedback in the pod after the uh, conference and uh, uh, you can reach me through this email laslo at laslo.is and uh, I'll be posting some more detailed articles and uh, description of this idea that I was trying to present today. Uh, 